Get ready because here are 21 exciting facts in the Bendy Chapter 4 trailer explained. 1. Alice's Greeting Alice greets us in a taunting tone with the message Did you lose something? Of course, she knows that she took Boris from us, but could this possibly be something more sinister? I get the vibes that something similar to Boris being taken away may have happened to him when we first worked at the studio, causing Henry to leave. In chapter 3, we discovered that Henry created an audio log revealing that Joey took more than he gave in their business partnership. Since Alice mentioned that she knows who Henry is and why he is at the studio, perhaps Henry is back because of something Joey took from him, rather than just Joey's invitation. What could this be? In Henry's secret recording, he makes a brief mention of Linda, mentioning that he hardly gets to see her anymore. While many still question who Linda is, from the tone of the message, she seems to be Henry's partner or daughter. Given this, there is a chance that something tragic may have happened to Linda, lending to Henry losing something in regards to her. Then again, listening to this over 30 year old recording did not cause Henry to say anything about it. Let's just hope that Linda didn't die or fall victim to the shenanigans Joey put the workers through at the studio. Two. The Broken Lift The scene zooms in on the broken lift that Henry and Boris crashed in in Chapter 3, meaning that this area gives us a better look at level S. It also confirms that the lift is definitely ruined and Henry may have to create another one or use some sort of manual system with the chains that were hinted at in the teaser images. 3. The Mysterious Liquid In the bottom right we can see a familiar yellow liquid. Avid prodigies may remember this from the second teaser image for chapter 4, featuring the vent. In our analysis of that teaser, we found that this yellow liquid could be a developing fluid which was used during the animation process in the early 20th century. Some prodigies have pointed out interesting alternatives to this, such as it being oil for the lanterns. 4. The Library the scene then changes to a study area resembling a library. What a library of all things is doing so deep in the studio is really questionable. Given that the light is shining down from above in this study area, perhaps this is a place of safety from Ink Bendy and the corrupted Butcher Gang clones. Another interpretation of this is that it could be Joey's sanctuary, as the books may be reference material for his art and his crazy rituals. We also need to remember that Joey takes more than he gives, and this area looks very luxurious in comparison to Sammy's sanctuary. Whatever the case, we can see a gramophone on one of the desks, hinting towards a new special bendy song for us to hear. 5. The Lobby The scene then flashes to a lobby area with sofas and another gramophone, so perhaps we will get even more music than in chapter 3. The interesting part for me in this quick cut is the design of the area. It seems to be a place that we will be able to pass through, but since it is double story, it gives me the feeling that we may come across a similar easter egg as in chapter 2 with the bendy cutout orchestra. On the other hand, we may not get access to the top area at all, and an ink worker may show up there, kind of like how Sammy did in a creepy manner in chapter 2. Now I'm not saying here that Sammy isn't coming back, but these sofas seem similar to the ones in Susie Campbell's room in the Angel Path Corridor. Perhaps we will bump into Susie in this area, or Alice Angel will appear on the top level to antagonize us. Something that could further confirm this is the container in the bottom right behind the sofa, which looks very similar to the drop box in Alice's quarters in Chapter 3. Don't fret though, previous Chapter 4 teasers and secrets we've come across in Chapter 3 and its update have hinted towards Sammy making a comeback. 6. The Corridor the next cut shows a brief look at a narrow corridor in the library area. The winding corridor design makes it look as if a chase might happen in this area, similar to a chase in Bendy in Nightmare Run, but things look so neat and well lit that it most likely seems safe. 7. The Mine The trailer then cuts to an image of an area resembling a mine. We can also see the bodies of Butcher Gang members strewn about in the next few flashes. Remember that Alice Angel hunted Butcher Gang members for their inky hearts on level 14 in chapter 3, so these Butcher Gang bodies suggest that Alice Angel was on the hunt for the inky hearts here. 8. The Minecart Something super interesting to note here is what seems to be a Bendy themed minecart stored on the shelf. Looking carefully at it, it has the Bendy themed eyes with a creepy smile and we can see that it is fitted with a seat and a guardrail. This could be a key item that Henry needs to retrieve to get around the area, as we will see later on in the video. Besides everything mentioned so far, why is there a mine connected to the studio? This is starting to remind me of Amnesia, The Dark Descent, where the main character travelled through a posh yet crumbling castle and ended up in a gigantic underground dungeon. Perhaps as we venture deeper into the depths of the studio, we will find similar clues of sacrificial magic and tortured workers, and we will discover how to finally escape the studio. 9. Vents Confirmed Next, we can see that vents are finally confirmed. 
This is something that was hinted at especially in the second teaser, but the trailer actually shows it in action. While we figured that there's a chance Bendy or some other enemy might use it to chase Henry, this trailer gives me the vibe that vents would be more of a safe area, kind of like they are in the Outlast series. This short clip appears to show Henry moving to one of the larger artist's desks, which we haven't really seen since chapter 1. Perhaps this is a hint that we will see a bit more of Joey Drew, learn more secrets about Henry, or find out more about another animator at the studio. 10. The roller coaster. The video then cuts to a tunnel and we can see that we are sitting in a minecart or a rail toboggan slash monorail. This is where the minecart item from earlier on in the trailer comes in, hinting that this may be a transportation method in the studio, kind of like the lift from chapter 3. However, this scene suggests that the transportation only goes one way. Perhaps there will be decisions we have to make early in chapter 4 that we won't be able to take back and will affect the game later on, similar to the angel and demon paths in the previous chapter. It would be really cool if this ended up being a way we get into the final area. 11. Spooky Jump Scares Looking around the tunnel, we can see jump scares similar to those in Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion, so perhaps we will find that they will get more intense as we progress through this tunnel. On this note, it may just be part of the amusement park theme that we've been seeing throughout the Bendy and the Ink Machine series so far. Could it confirm that Joey was trying to bring his cartoons to life for human entertainment? If anything, it seems as if this tunnel leads us closer to Alice Angel, as we can see what seems to be Fish's body lying off to the side. We can also see a cage to the right, which Alice had many of in her room in the Chapter 4 production trailer, and the makeshift tombstone resembles the one from the third Chapter 4 teaser, which featured Alice Angel herself. 12. The Speakers Also in this tunnel area are speakers attached to the ceiling, which may be there for a character such as Alice to communicate for us, or for scary music to play to set the atmosphere of this haunted house style ride. It may also play one of Alice Angel's songs, whether it be her creepy humming, or an interrupted recording from one of her cartoons, like in Chapter 3. 13. An Exciting Escape Next we see a dark, confined corridor with some kind of stop slash blockade at the end. This is particularly hard to see, so perhaps it could be a box on wheels that will end up doing an Indiana Jones on us. This area looks similar to a room we will see later on in the video as well. Number 14. Alice's Strange Message The video then cuts to what looks like a lobby slash mezzanine area, where immediately we hear Alice saying, Henry, why are you here? Hmm, I thought she knew. She then says, We're all dying to find out. Could this hint towards the ink workers literally dying? Considering that Sammy gave the impression that the inky bodies are torturous, perhaps the likes of Alice and the projectionist feel the same. If so, perhaps we should feel a little less guilty about helping to eliminate these characters. 15. The Fire In the bottom area of the lobby, Piper, Stryker, and Fisher seem to be gathering around a fire. Earlier in the video, I mentioned that oil may be something that plays a part in the next chapter. The oil may be what fuels the fire in these barrels and may get us to be more cautious about accidentally spreading fire around the studio. Why there would be fire at the studio is a little bit scary to consider though. Perhaps it is part of the ritual, or a way of keeping warm in the lower depths of the studio. If anything, it doesn't seem to scare away the Butcher Gang members at all, and they seem quite drawn to it. While this could hint towards another way to draw enemies away from Henry, I think it just makes for a great atmosphere in this particular scene. 16. The Battering Arm In the top left, we can see a huge statue of a cartoon arm. This is something we've seen before in the Chapter 4 reveal trailer with Alice Angel, though its purpose is unclear right now. It looks like a battering ram from this angle, but the chains that keep it suspended in the air don't look much longer than the height of one of the Butcher Gang members. 17. Joey's Secret Art When the camera reaches just the right angles in this area, we can see what look to be sketches of some of the enemies we've had the pleasure of meeting so far. In the bottom left, we can see what seems to be a sketch of the projectionist, and in the top right, we can see a sketch of Ink Bendy in one of his angry poses. Could this area be where Joey Drew drafted some of the designs that he wanted to come to life? If so, these may be the concept sketches that started all of the craziness at the studio. 18. Ink Spills on the far left, we can see an ink waterfall, indicating that this area is deeper yet in the studio. It's becoming clearer that Henry isn't easily going to be able to make his way back to the top of the studio to escape, but perhaps that is why we were introduced to the vent system in the first place. In fact, the very vent scene that we've seen earlier in this trailer leads to what looks a lot like Henry's desk in Chapter 1. It's even presented in a similar fashion, with the bendy cutout next to the desk. While we haven't seen a vent in this area already, there is a chance that it would be added in as an update on Chapter 4's release. What is a greater concern is how Henry would get up there in the first place. It would be a pretty steep climb if he used the vents to get out of level S, 
even if he was to find some kind of ladder system. Other than this, it might even show Joey Drew's work area, which would potentially be set up in a similar fashion as Henry's, who was his business partner. 19. The Walk Cycle We have here an exciting scene showing Alice in a walk cycle through a tunnel. With so much attention to this particular scene, perhaps it is a sign that we will save Boris, causing Alice to come chase after us. Or it may hint towards Alice chasing us to keep us from getting closer to Boris. We can also see more raging gears, and considering that we've seen gears throughout this entire trailer, it may be a sign of Alice's hungry machines that she mentioned in Chapter 3. It would be absolutely insane if the entirety of Level S is Alice's machine. In this exciting sequence, the all-familiar message of End the Angel flashes on the screen, further driving forward that we will have a huge conflict with Alice Angel ahead of us. 20. Saving the Floop We can then hear Henry saying, Hang in there, Boris. I'm coming which may be one of his lines at the start of chapter 4, after he regains his consciousness. This makes it absolutely clear that Henry does want to save Boris, which is definitely good news for most of us. 21. Release information. The trailer ends off with the word April appearing, and then fading out on the screen, suggesting that we will finally be able to play chapter 4 by the end of April. During this, a short snippet of an organ playing a carnival tune can be heard. which may further hint towards the carnival slash amusement park theme that we've been seeing so far. Could this be Joey's way of making his dreams come true? Tap this video to find out, or check out these videos which were picked just for you. If you're new, remember to subscribe and tap that bell for bendy and horror game theories that actually make sense. I'll also have links to my other chapter 4 teaser analyses that I've done for those who may have missed them. Just check the comments below. Prodigies, I hope these videos help to expand on how you think. See ya!